All right, Earthbound. Bizarre aliens roam the Earth. Four average kids save the world from certain destruction. Intergalactic terror strikes the small town of Onet as a blazing extraterrestrial object crashes in the night. Earth now faces an imminent destruction by the universal evil threat, Gyagas. A uh, courageous boy named Ness and his three friends vow to save the planet from hideous destruction. Battle hundreds of off-the-wall monsters, roaming dinosaurs, and alien enemies. Explore exotic locations like Saturn Valley, Death Dunes, Desert, and Deep Darkness. The ultimate test lies in the impending encounter with the all-powerful Gyagas. Average, he says, yeah. Average kids with psychic powers. Indicative gameplay. <laughs> it's still fun intro though. Best music any game can give you. You spy. Other fabulous anime misadventures. Presented by <laughs> a nice little intro thing for games in there as a demo station and a old Funko Land or whatever. All right. Got a new game here. Medium's possibly fine, and maybe do fast, because I usually can read pretty decent. If I'm reading out loud, medium's probably better, but I don't know what its concept of medium and whatnot is. Channel points, name of character, yeah. I figured I was probably just gonna keep them all the standard name, but. Right, I don't. It's not, it doesn't typically come up. I thought it was neat back in the day that you could actually go through and change the color scheme on the well, aesthetic wallpaper and everything. There's not much underlying purpose behind it, but it's neat. It changes the border design just slightly. It's thicker. But for someone who spent hours on a Saturday afternoon customizing the look out of his or layout of his old Windows PC back in the day, then something found neat. Mm hmm. Change some of the, I think you changed the font stuff on that one too. Alright. I think you put don't care, it just goes with the that damn character name. It's for our case, works out just as well. There's actually a handful of different names that it cycles through with in case you really, really don't care. Jeff, Dan, Henry, Isaac, Elf, Sean, Bob. Okay, let's go. 
The standard character names are all the first ones. You can always start a run through of the secondary characters of the tertiary. Slightly different character feel that way, but for our purposes. Dog's name is King. The Tibetan Prince. <laughs> Mistake. So yeah, pizza's the only thing that makes sense to me. Sorry, it's not a QWERTY keyboard. Give me off. Name's the power of a special. Sounds good to me. Our adventure started. Wow! Press into my. The intros and stuff in the game were all pretty neat. See for what it was back in 1990x. On a small town in Ingle, Eagle Land. Not England, Eagle Land. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to play this game. It's too scary. Sure to wake you up. The earthquake with the heck happened? Why am I still in my PJs? What's going on? <laughs> you alright? Is everyone else alright? You okay? What's going on? Hey bro, the sound wake you up? You freaked out? The, one of the other buttons talks to people directly. Hell button, thank you. I say there's a way I could talk straight to people. A button brings up status, and A button brings up all. Old school RPG. Check talk goods. So why don't anything? Yeah, so it's the L button. L button's the check. In case things get. Like I said, in case things get rough, huh? I do get rowdy. What's going on, Mom? What is that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? Now you want to go check it out? So I grabbed the bat. Okay. Sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. At least change out of your damage before you go. It's a reasonable request. You're right, boy. I assume his dog is also sleeping tonight. Why aren't you asleep? <laughs> One wasn't ringing, so it explains why. That's the one. Yeah, you know what's going on? I want to return home, but the road is closed. You are taking this mirror situation too seriously. It's like, fine, fine, there's something happened, but why can't I just go home? I'm not police or infamous for closing roads or something going on. They're going for the world record. Don't be the policeman who's concerned only with quotas. Don't panic! It's just a... What? Meteorite that... Who? Fell? I just wanna... What? Go home. South to the suburbs of Onnit. We live a little bit on the outskirts here. Come on, man. Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. These feet will start moving soon. Check on the neighbors here. What's going on, man? Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after the police car. 
He said, Picky, you should stay home. I'm home watching our house. I'm a dad aren't home yet. He went out to an elegant restaurant. That'd be too late then. My mom and stuff were still up. It's like the oddly designed house. And that there's no clear. Upstairs bedrooms and stuff. Right. I mean, obviously for practical reasons, there's no sense in designing that level of complexity that you'll never But Yeah. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, pronto. Can't make me. There ain't no curfew. Mirai has landed. Sharks are running wild in town. Kids are wandering around. And I'm hungry. I hate my job. Stupid. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, you won't stop you, would. There it goes. Kids. Hey, you! Don't you know what time it is? Not really. I said night. Late enough to be headed to bed, but not late enough for everyone to be. Yeah, then. Yeah. Red roll. I'm num num. Time to eat that yet. Ah, I'm a strange neighbor. Hey, Ness. Hiya, buddy. Meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic. Work out and make my body stronger. However, weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you. It, whoop. I almost told you about my, uh. By the way, Ness, check my billboard. I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. Billboard guy. Check out my work. Treasure Hunter. This is Liar X Adjurate's house. It's a clever name. The meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous. Most mysterious. Ooh. To add your own side effects. Nice timing, us. You sound about pokey. Driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Not really. You're not friends? Are your neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Shh. Shh. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Out way. Out way out. Get my. Whoops. My mistake. I mean, get out of my way. Start rambling. Like the robot Transformers movie. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. Getting in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about this strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. I tried. Well, definitely looks interesting. It looks best getting in everything. Batty town full of batty po folks. Twin Peaks esque. Hate the guy who did Twin Peaks to have a television remake of the show. Yeah, it's kind of going with the Cartman thing with Pokey there. Up on that. Welcome home, Ness. Not necessary to talk about it tonight. Late. Go off to bed now. Fine, Mom. Later that night. Rapping at my chamber door. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Who does that? Middle of night. You gonna answer it or? I'd land who could be knocking at the door at this time of night. Would you answer it? Fine. <laughs> no one likes to be knocked at their door knocked down in the middle of the night. 
Look at the nightmares. Hey, hey, li li listen. This is what I gotta say. I took Piggy to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, evening, ma'am. Oh, yeah, lovely as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, the local ruffians. They were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Piggy was gone. I blamed the cops. It was my fault at all. My dad gets back. Uh, I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Will you help me find Piggy? <sighs> Fine. Okay, good buddy. Blow this popsicle stand. Where you go? Why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Hi, mom. I know the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. Right back tracer room could help out at a time like this. From what anyone says, Rage is a strong boy. Very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember? Go for it. I think you should change out your jammies before you leave. Yeah, I should probably do that. Sorry. Equip. Weapon. Right bad. Try to remember the order of operations. I can't equip from the item screen there. Alright. Do everything can to help you. Good luck in your adventure. I get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Yay! Now cookie and bread. I'll just leave anything you don't need with me. You hang on to something. Or they have anything. Hi again, Mom. Yeah, sure, you're cool, whatever. My mom thinks I'm cool. Come on, King. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Here to have a psychic rapport with my dog. Alright! You go out front and I'll follow the safe distance. Let's get going. Anyone else want to get it? I'm leaving. No. Hello? Hello? It's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Never call me periodically during your adventure. I make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, that's $30 in your bank account. You have your ATM card? Draw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. You're like such a hero. What? Well, father of a hero, at least. Ah! Hang up suddenly. You're dead. Okay. Ain't gonna get busy now. Of course, Sour Man's agent. Yeah, I don't have any contact for what the heck is religious with his family. Anyway, this dog. Howling from my own misery. <laughs> my team is of no help. Ah! It's like owies. Good effort, dog. And it. Life up. <laughs> now we can self heal. Last worried about trying to, you know, get killed by stray animals. It's a rough way to go out. Don't have too many crows that you normally wear. Sunglasses and bow ties. Good job, King. Phew. <laughs> Ooh, a cookie. Eat it. Bit of HP. And being the connection that this game is, 
Oh, it's like a soft reboot of the first one. Yeah, I kind of like the way the game does that. It's like, what the heck is this? It's Cookie. Need to recover HP. That way you kind of know, it's like, what does this one do? 30 HP. Like, that's overkill. You need that. Most games nowadays just usually have some sort of highlight box that pops up at you. Want some of this? Oof. Don't take my stuff. I don't have much. There we go. That's for whacking birds. Free cookies. I don't presume they keep taking you from some sort of local cookie stand. Come on, man. Hey, Ness. Too busy to investigate. But I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. Man's man. Sure, sure. Hey, what's up, King? And who's gonna be such a scary place? Oh, come on. I'm out of here. Mom did say it was unreliable. It's not one of those dogs that would give your life, give his life for you. It's like you are my boy. I will protect you. It's like you're on your own, crazy. Well, we found you. Ah! Oh, woke me up. Pokey, I'm looking all over for you. The Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay at least. Go home now. That mom and dad are worried sick about us. Jeez. Sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Screw this crap. I'm out. <laughs> yes. You, you have buzzing? Sounds like a bee flying around? No. Oh, come on. You must hear it. I hear it. The strange light from that meteor. What's going on? Ah! No. The bee. A bee I am. Not. I'm from ten years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Clear around, Peter. <laughs> I guess the Universal Cosmic Destroyer and all the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from. There is a well known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. Passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it's my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Agus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gagas. Three things are of utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. Not not power. Pretty different Triforce. Legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gaius. I'll tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. We have much work to do, Ness. More or less. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my mock story. You're an exceptional as I expected you to be combination of that and yeah I said I was doing a combination of that and um, <laughs> sure the dude from Dragon Ball Super good morning there Trin welcome welcome happy Thursday yes you're really in a lot of trouble this time hey boys he says uh I'm not one of those three am I cuz I'm not into this kind of thing at all jeez I was almost pounding around on my chest. 
Hello! <laughs> Help us save the earth. Screw that crap. <laughs> At least I have this bug. Oh, guess I didn't. Found the kid. Yes, buddy, I have something to tell you. You only. Can you come visit me later? Alone? You want to meet me behind the store after midnight? It's really important. What? Do you know where the store is? You know when midnight is. Will you meet me behind the store after midnight? It's really important. N no. No. Alright. That's <laughs> the vibes, huh? That's the best we can do. Oh my gosh! It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plan. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. The first boss battle. <laughs> Good thing I got this bat. Thanks, Buzz Buzz. Psychic shield. This is where the fastest scrolling would be nice for the battles more than the regular attacks. That didn't add much picky, but I appreciate the hood spell. Pokey, not so much. I added very little as well. Ah, I was guarding, that's why. I wish I could do that. <laughs> he is a hero of some sort. No! Oof. I think we have that psychic shield. Oh boy, first spaceman. <laughs> In case he does that again. Oh, pokey. Ah. Good job, Buzz Buzz. No match for you. Yeah, did nothing. Get the experience. Oh, baby! Occasional word critical up that you get on some of your level ups. Taking a big chance there. Came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't react yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gaius, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gaius's influence over the evil in their minds. It's the truth, so listen. Listen. Listen? Guess I'm taking you guys home. Distracted by this whole adventure thing. And Mr. Oki. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Even a real face. Gotta be firm. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. You've loaned your father a lot of money. Ain't been a hundred thousand dollars or more. I guess it really could have been less, but because of the loan, my family now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well. Nice guys finish last. It's the story of our life. Got twin things to do? <laughs> Appreciate dropping my trim. Hope your gay goes well. Continue to. Adventure along here on our way. I'm incredulous, yeah. I don't think he's loaned you anything. I think, if anything, you he's had to loan you a bunch of money. I think it's a dung beetle. Let's smash your guts out. No. My mentor and friend. I was 
Much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gaius, your own power must unite with the Earth. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near on it. This is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yep. Down the hill and over there and it's nearby. Alright. You're a very intelligent young man and... Oh! In vain! Everything is getting dark. <clears throat> Before I pass on, I wanted to give you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the ATO Sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone, but did you want to hear the story one more time? Nah, no, it's alright. Good! It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ah, good. <laughs> I go for that dramatic Emmy. I guess he's gone then. So, <sighs> so tired. Nag, nag, nag. My husband is very soft hearted. So I had to whoop the kids twice as hard, yep. Gave him a rather loud earful, too. <laughs> Very sudden. The colors, children. Oh. Ah, there's a snake. I'm gonna turn my back on it. Turn the day off. Well, that wasted both of our time, so. Huh? Ow, oh, snake bit me. I figured I might as well tell my mom that I'm heading out too. Hello! The most important man ever. Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay. Ready for an instant memory. Go get the camera. Ready. Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. We'll always bring back the fondest of memories. What should we do? That's weird, right? Mom, mom, mom. Back. While you're self talking now, you look too tired. Mothers understand these. Eat some pizza and scoot off to bed. I mean, it's just, it's already morning. You had a busy, busy late evening. I guess so. You could use a nappy wap. Some help you were. I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. It's too scary out there. Yes? Too bad. More money in my bank account. Typically, when you play most RPG games, you earn money from the up or rather than dogs and fish and whatnot to randomly dropping cash. Dad just adds it to my bank account. Grab it all over there. It also tells me what I want to experience in each next level. It's always nice to know. Classic tune. I do like to work hard. Do 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 do. Ah, not one of those snakes. Get. A little sturdier than the last one. Uh, 
Uh, Stats. You can also check here for your experience in the next level. Okay, so, you know, all your character stats and everything. Pretty well rounded, all things considered. Three, 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 two, two. <laughs> it's pretty early, so. And you can also check your side abilities in case you want to follow you've been collecting up to this point. We only know one thing. Just me. <laughs> yeah. It's more than what I was also on here. It's, it's, also, it's, it's more psychic ability than I do at the page. <laughs> Tough kid to keep going around and getting all these animal bites and be like, I got this. Just patch me up, Doc. Ooh, Red Bull. Those are nice. Surprise! Drop on. Interesting dynamic with the game if you can get behind people and get the extra surprise attacks in a lot of modern RPG games, especially ones that try to replicate the older JRPGs and tends to do that. That's the business. <laughs> yeah. Seeing how much HP is missing. Almost 30. Set 30. Yep. I like the way they say about 30, because there are certain people with... Right, and certain characters have more of a propensity for certain types of food they like, and then you can also add condiments and stuff as you get further along in the game as a whole. Weird <laughs> permutation. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Alright, I like Public Library. Use the library more. It's truer today than it was then. The library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. Old Nintendo powers, all that kind of biz. You can have the computers, you can get the internet, and check all those game cheat code websites. So cool. Hi! Kids can our only maps at this library. You want to borrow one? Sure, why not? Here's a map. And that isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there, except for the info that isn't. Pressing the next button allows you to view the map anytime. How convenient! You know the X button, get near the top. <laughs> now I can do this. Ooh! Then that little nice, nice town. We were up there, that's where we live. Also, I need to go pay Liar Exaggerator. He did say that he wanted to talk to me about something, it was very important. I'll do all of that next. It's not really that important, but. At Giant Step, there's a monster guy in that spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made Giant Step its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. That's the biggest thing I like about this game is just all the arbitrary people that I talk to for almost no reason whatsoever. I'm cramming for the big test tomorrow. About games. Hotel rule. If you stay at a hotel, you wake up with full HP and PP. Life recovery rule. Covering your life will give you full HP, but zero PP. Hmm. But the stuff will be on the test. Quiet! It's a freaking library and he's over here talking to people. Some people will talk to you, say multiple different things, but have you talk to them? I have a thumb for every character. And a few words. He was just talking to him now. It's the shy guy mask. See someone wearing that in reality? Well, they're probably weird. 
Recently, I sense the presence of UFOs flying around. Or am I just dreaming? Shh! Bothering people! It's true. I recently read a book titled Our Convenient Society. It said that our modern society demands that there always be an ATM in hotels and drugstores. Just knowing that is convenient. I'm glad I read the book. I can't believe I didn't know this stuff. Let's check whether or not we have an ATM in our drugstore. I read the book called Our Society is Convenient. It said that these days there are always telephones in hotels and drugstores. I also learned to use a green pay phone costs a dollar, while the black phones are free. If you weren't aware of this, all your money could get eaten up by your phone calls. I'm glad I read that book. I've picked up on different important parts from the same book. But those are clues for you as the player to go like, oh, I get it. I can't believe I saw it with my own eyes. By the meteor there last night, one of the other cops. I was staring out the window and there it was, just fluttering there. I only seen it in the encyclopedia before. Was it? Magic butterfly! You get close to a magic butterfly, all your cares fly away. A fluttering butterfly. Yep, yep. That's the effect of the legendary magic butterfly. I love talking about it. Oops. Sorry about the outburst. I got carried away with all that talk about lovely butterflies. I'm researching Giant Step. It's located north and west of Onnet. I heard it possesses a special power. The ley line location. What the? What's going on, dude? Huh. No, I'm in here. Try to come in, but you don't need to use the bathroom. Don't talk to me. I'm thinking. Thanks for the map. I miss. Hey, so before I forget it, these things. As we level up eventually, I don't need to deal with them anymore. Scare them off with my sheer presence. I also like the number of things that have enemies on this game do that have nothing to do with fighting. That is taking a long time doing nothing. It just keeps howling and I just keep whiffing. Stand still, you! I don't want to fight. Stand still. Cookie. Lucky he'll drop a cookie. There you go. Sweet, sweet level ups. Almost everything went up by two except for those things. Power of hypnosis. Off the top of my head, the paradise one. I've heard umpteen songs by them, the course of the years, but oh, that's another good one. Thank you, Mr. Jones. And do 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 do, and everybody knows. Da da la la. Do 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 Farmer, farmer, put away the do do do. Don't care about spots on my apples. Leave me the birds and the bees, please. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know? 
Yeah, it's gone. Is that pit paradise and purple parking lot? Pacing on this game leveling wise is a little bit nicer than on the original NES one. Oh yeah! Don't stand up to this! It's cookie monsters, these ones. Right, yellow house. <laughs> Hello, strange neighbor who invited me into the rickety shack all alone. I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Ah, I can tell by the look on your face that you don't want to hang out, do you? That, that's alright. After all, we aren't even related. I know you think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. Down in the, down in the basement. It's gonna be cool, kid. This isn't a basement, it's just a freaking hole. Come back, man. Stranger danger! Where, where are you going, dude? How, how creepy is this gonna get? How, how deep is this hole, man? So, that's, that's buddy. I'm proof of a great treasure. Huge haul! Yeah! I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. It's right, it's right this way. Right this way. Oh, you actually did find something. Kind of, it's kind of menacing, though. Golden statues glowing strangely. What is it? If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. Holly Golic, work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. I'm getting in the way of my work. You start to get greedy thoughts. My. My treasure. My precious is. <laughs> Away from my treasure. You invited me, bro. What the glob, man? Exactly. That guy has poop brain. That'd be another alternative if you wanted to make a whole series out of it, be the French time to out of it. <laughs> I still like the Twin Peaks meets Stranger Things idea though. bat pop no hit him pretty hard it's not a teddy bear all right back on track now we'll peek at that mystical treasure the man was working on hey there stinky oh, i'm stinky yes yeah, so i'm gonna watch out duty for a hideout can you take over i don't really got time stinky <laughs> You're busy, I understand. Actually, I think it's up here. Yeah. There's a hideout back here, I can bust my way over. There we go. Up. Hey, fellas! It's your old pal Ness. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. You're a good kid. <laughs> I'm definitely taller than them. It's safe to presume that I'm like middle school. They're still elementary school. Small age gap. That means we have some vague equipment. Are there? Yeah. 
defense. Now the birds will not kill me. I had a dream about you, and you were traveling with a cute girl. Dream comes true. Say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. Most kids you raise are. I've grown since I last saw you. You look like a man. You're so cool. I think I really like you. Well, you, you know what I mean. Let's see, not being weird about it. There's nothing weird about telling a man you like another man. I am not your enemy. I'm simply your average random normal. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? Yeah, I don't see why not. It doesn't care. My hint involves which way you're facing when a battle with an enemy cars. If you allow enemies to approach you from the back or side, they might get a surprise over your attack. When you approach you this way, your TV screen... No, uh, I mean the world in front of you will show a red swirl for a second. And on the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening at that. In that case, your TV... <laughs> Oops again. The world in front of you shows a green swirl. The point is, trying to fight Slayo is at the end. Hey, morning King Retro. Check out a little bit of Dokken battle there. Last night, a little bit this morning I saw it too, so... Hope that was going well for you. Welcome. Happy Thursday. Starting our playthrough of Earthbound this morning, so... It's making our way down that... Chatting up to townsfolk. But yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot nicer than we had had. One HP, nothing. Might as well not even try. I do have a lot of cookies. Good stuff. And they taste so good. Because they're free. Giant step. Yeah, so that, exactly. That's that's where I've been trying to head. Good thing this path led us straight there. Up the mountain. Danger do not enter. Oh, we, we've got an adventure to do, so we gotta do what we gotta do. Who are you clowns? This shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. Can't even change our clothes. Hotels are too expensive. I heard there's a big footprint on the hilltop behind this shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. Traveling entertainer shack. Door is locked. We can't get in there, can we, but guys? Do not enter. I could read that one. <sighs> said someone from the city did this? Looks like we'll have to head towards City Hall then. So I'm congregating and figuring in. Give him the business. Rather than take him out. Yeah, I have no idea. It's it's literally it's just a building out in the middle of nowhere for any random traveling entertainers and buskers that happen to be stopping by town. He's gonna be like, yeah, I need to place the crash while we go from town to town, so we set up the, our own little private network of Yeah, entertainer hostels. <laughs> I'm almost positive that's more likely how that works, because otherwise if you're a traveling entertainer, you probably don't need your own standalone living place. Alright. Checking the map, that's what it's for. So this hall appears to be right in the middle of town there, so... Yeah, yeah, really governmental, Dean. Yeah, our shop there to buy stuff, food there to buy some food stuff, hotel, is for desperate and didn't want to go all the way back home to sleep there. It seems a little weird, it's like, what's the architecture? Yeah, there's a name for it. It has columns in the whole the government building. There's be a bakery down there in case burgers or anything. Hospital. In case we get really injured. I'll go. That's what most government buildings are. 
Western culture usually structured around. Your kind can't hurt me anymore. It's nice too, because you don't get a lot of games where they have enemies in the middle of towns. <laughs> you jerk. Cuz. <laughs> you make up whatever the heck that conversation is about. Flowers in the garden are representative of what's in your heart. Read them both nice. Trample over them while I go to read the sign. Welcome, beautiful on it. Wild flower of evil land. Not drugstores to the east. East. Opposite of west. It's with there. Some people go like, is this the drugstore? No, it's got the map. It's over there. Read a map. A girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out of their home. I can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paula's really special. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh well. Fired. Could be. City Hall's to the east. You know, sunrises. That other guy was harping about east too. Western part of town, so pretty much everything else is going to be used to here. If you're trying to sell us the newspaper, go away! Don't read the newspaper! We don't want any milk, either! I want your government candy! Yep. City 1, City 2, City 3, City 4. Get the idea. Moved here from way, 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 way next town. Next town, there is... Uh, what, what is the name? Uh, Polar Star Preschool? Preschool is at Paula's house. Paula uses... What is it called? Magic? The Play Magician! That's how she's special. Coordinate those two thought processes together. Like me! Someone else in this magical world that's magical. Maybe I really want to stop by those two spots up there. Yeah, it's not a straight line, which is fine. Ooh. Ooh. I always walk both ways. Nice. Back around the trash here, around the burger shop, these free burgers. Those that are in the know, just find free burgers behind the burger shop. Trash is public property, exactly. Our game's full of sharks. I can't play there. They ruin everything. These jerks. Oh, miss. Didn't you think you get more food value out of 14 bucks worth of burgers than 8 bucks worth of french fries? Feel better and more energetic if you eat better foods. 2024 prices. Suffer more health if you eat more expensive food. A good rule of thumb. Eat pricey, folks. <laughs> so much more relaxed here. They never asked me, would you like fries with that shake? I wasn't gonna ask you that either. Seems like I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. Hello, may I take your order? Gotta force it sometimes. What can I get for you? Fruit juice, got coffee, waffy. Good price. I don't have a lot of money on me. I'm not fun to get yet. And I've gotten all these free cookies and biz from all the other critters, so. Have a nice day. I'll be the guy who just walks up to the register at a fast food restaurant, looks at the menu. Hmm. Nah. Okay. 
I save that was a sign. One. That's one of those pay phones they mentioned. It costs a dollar if I wanted to call home. Otherwise, save my game. Chowing down and go up the whole trip. <laughs> Let's get more cookies. <laughs> Eat more healthy. Hey, I know your hard earned cash is important to you, but you should call your mom. I've got an ulcer from worrying about you. I've been gone for t like not even two hours. It's a, what's it been? 15 minutes? She can't be that worried. I do miss my mommy. I'm Rufini the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game design. Do you see the window showing HP and PP at the bottom of the screen? Not right now, because the screen up toggled it different. When you go to a store that has equivalent items, this window will either flash, look normal, or become black. If you're allowed to equip an item and it is stronger than your current item, the window will flash. If your power is equal to or less than your current equipped item, the window looks normal. If you can equip the item, the window is black. <laughs> I thought you liked it. Now it's time to become regular dog again. There's the one of those ATMs. $127. Rolling it. Ain't doing good if we ain't spending it. Hello, folks. Hello there. How may I help you? Can I get you anything? I that's in case you got sick. If you didn't want to drop by the hospital or if you're on the road and you need to take care of it. Yeah, I get a cold that frequently. Hi, right, come in, come in. What can I do for you? Oops, sorry. I don't want to buy anything from me. For my feelings. Wrong button. I apologize. I will buy something from you. So like for example, if the dog was talking about crack bat. I have one of those equipped already, so that's not going to help us any. But that t-ball bat, ho oh, ho! Step in the right direction. We all palpitating. Yo-yo, also an option. Baseball bat, or baseball cap, we got already. I think it's actually less than the one we got from the kid, but if you didn't wander and find the people in the background, you'd be able to do anything with that. Cheap bracelet, though. <laughs> ah! It's a, I mean, no, it's not. Again, <laughs> I figure cheap bracelets and then you find from the five below. Yeah, and these are all pretty. I mean, the T-ball bats, maybe about right. Um, yeah, even the cap at 20 bucks, that's probably right about where it should be. But and a cheap bracelet, but I guess it's it's no um, diamond studded Zales thing or anything. So comparably inexpensive. Yeah, you, you, you can get $500 bracelets. Those aren't cheap. This is relatively cheap. But I can buy $5 bracelets, slap-ons. Mm-hmm. Equip it. You do. I'll buy four. Plus, it doesn't have a crack in it. I don't need it, so... And I wouldn't mind the cheap bracelet, but I'm not technically doing anything else with the cash, I suppose. I don't usually stumble upon a lot of items like this as I'm not about. Not that I remember. It's also hardly one if there was any. Sometimes they do mention stuff like that, but not usually the town stuff. It's like the there's treasures and whatnot. I do like that they have an appendix in the back that has a whole list of all the different weapons that your characters can acquire throughout the game and whether you find them in shops or enemies or most of the weapons you get from shops. And full of unique one-off ones. Each one of them has one. Who only has that? That's out of rating discounts. <laughs> Exactly, it is like to play against sports, you're right. It's like, yeah, you get this bat. You get rid of my old one? Yeah, we can rid of It's fine. I don't have anything to trade in with the cheap bracelet, though, because I don't currently have anything equipped to my arm. But it gives us five more defense, so. And that should do us. We made all that money for. Sweet. Now, as we'll head down to the city hall there to see if we can figure out what's going on with the old traveler shack there. You can actually make your way to 
giant step to complete our adventure. If you have any trouble, consult your kind-hearted mayor. I got some trouble. I'll do just that. Open door city hall policy. It should be great. If one of your friends becomes unconscious, you should visit them in the hospital. If you check with the nurse receptionist, she'll release your friend. Nice thing to remember. It's alright if you forget. Try not to forget your friends. Rumor has it that the shark's boss is hanging out near the giant step. That's where he said they got trashed. I'm at City Hall. There is. Read the map, right? Wow, wow. Don't you think you'll be needing a weapon? No drugstore sells things you can use? I knew about it. <laughs> I'm to talk to you. Oh yeah, you mentioned the arcade you could go to. Swimming with sharks, exactly. Looking for chum to chew up and spit out. Aren't you stuck? If you want to hit, come and get it. Eagle and hit. Hello. There are lots of snakes and stray dogs around out there. Mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. I mean. <laughs> so you're saying we need to institute a wacky day? I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I'll just kick back for a while. This may take a couple of hours to sign this paper. I love the bureaucrats. No, oh, aren't you, Ness? Is it school holiday today? Have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been wetting your bed? No, the sky. I'm middle school. We don't have any openings for part-time plays at this time. Some suspicious-looking kids are hanging out in the woods north of the library. I wonder if they're members of the shark. Now nah, they're good kids. Stop the spread of gang! It's only to shut down the gathering places, don't you think? No more arcades. No more private hideouts. No more fun. Stop all the bad influence on the children on that. I call it the Fresh Breeze Movement. <laughs> <laughs> they had to do with our malls some years back. Now all the malls are closed, so it doesn't matter anymore. I work for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Perkle bugs me. Keep this between you and me. Did I tell you I saw a giant ant one time at Giant Step? Oh, sorry. I did ant mean to spoil it for you. <laughs> it's a good news, guys. We're gonna fight a giant ant. <laughs> Can I see the mayor? Science said I could. Mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I'm going to have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. Aww. I just needed to see the mayor, sir. Mayor is busting his butt with all the troubles in town, like the sharks and the meteorite. Hey, the guy's trying to reform the sharks. Ha ha ha! Whoa, you've got to be kidding me! Scram! I thought I just needed to. I need to talk. I need to talk to him. Well, I guess he's a busy guy, so maybe we can help. Get some of his busy work off his desk there, then. Might be able to talk to us. So that means, bring out the sharks. 